Hello, and welcome to Geek Up Play Tutorials, and this is an add-on to Animated Layers. Some people have emailed us, and they've been asking us some questions, and we're going to try to answer them r right now. There are two that we're going to be looking at. Um, the first is, how can I create shadows? And the second is, how can I make people walk directly on the ground? All of this is something that really we have to do in After Effects. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And I'm going to go ahead and import some footage that we've done previously. And this is a fun project we did, the Russian Pirate of the Sea. And we have on the green screen our friend Jason, and he's being a wild pirate and we will import him as a live scene in Vu. and also what we'll do you can see that I've created some images and they can easily be animated so we have them here just in layers so there will be an alpha mat and the layers so if you import video it will just be your AVI so your alpha, your AVI, and your background. And I also created another one that's just the ground. I did this by pointing the camera down and taking a snapshot of the ground. So if you want, you can do this. Or if you do animation, you can just do it another way. So let's import animation right now. And what we'll go to do is um, go ahead and create a background here. So we'll take our second layer and put it right here and here we have our background. Let's make this one fit so we can see it and let's increase the quality to full. So this will be like your animation but right now it's static and we did this so it can be a faster preview. So now let's import the ground and we'll just put the ground right here. Other things you see here where you see it's kind of like a cube shape, it's 3D layers. Let's convert them to 3D layers and we'll look from the top. We have our first layer. Let's move it just a little bit to the back. Let's go to our camera and here's our ground layer. So we'll take the rotation tool, go to X, and we'll select our ground, we'll go to X and we'll start rotating, we'll hold the shift so it will snap and we'll go to switch tools and we'll put it down on the ground like this. Also we can just kind of let's maybe do it 50% so we'll kind of increase the size, we'll take the back layer and rotate it a little bit so we can correct it right here and we'll just increase it slightly bigger and what we have here now is kind of like our 3D view like a set you don't necessarily need to put this layer you can also just take your animation and extend it also you can do this as a camera projection on the 3D plane so you can create one plane and a, another plane here and do camera projection so it will split and there's some very good tutorials for this if you go look at www.videocopilot.net they have excellent tutorials there for After Effects and we highly recommend them if you're doing animation in this and we'll post that link on the website and you can see there how they do camera projection and some other things so anyway we've created our 3D plane here and right now let's take our animation and let's move him up so we can see it and what we'll do right now we have let's create a mask around and again this is really very rough so we've created a mask and let's hide the masks now go to effects key we will select the key light and in key light we select the green screen 
And also we probably want to go to screen mat so we can preview. Let's blur up to two. Extend the screen mat here and clip back probably. What we do is just see how it's going, clip back and then go down and do it this way. Okay, so now it's at about 2269, set hard color, change this color to being a little closer to greenish so we don't have it, and let's shrink this to maybe around minus one, so it actually shrinks around. And what's happening, actually, if we go right here and we check on the final result, so we have our pirate dancing right here, and we see that he's still kind of floating in the air. So let's click on the 3D so we put him in the 3D and let's put him a little bit down so we see he's see that he's touching the ground. Also we kind of want to add color correction and maybe add a little bit more brightness here and some contrast so it's kind of matching the background and this is our auto color correction. One thing you notice is that there are no shadows going in the back. The sunlight is almost straight up front so we need to put him, put in some shadows and we just go on him, press control D so we're duplicating him and this is front and back and we take this one and go to effect so it's his second and let's rename this to shadow. And to rename you just click on this, press enter, pirate. We'll go to shadow, effect, color correction, hue, saturation, and we'll drop the saturation to zero and the lightness to zero. So we've just created a black mat here and if you can see it's just this one, a black guy here. And effects, go to blur, go to fast blur. Okay. And let's increase the blurriness maybe kind of like this. Okay, now we are going to want to take this here and drop it. Again, if you hold down shift, it will kind of snap it down to 45 degrees. Okay, we have this one. Oops. That was the wrong one we captured. Okay, now we have him and we kind of drop him down. You can see where he's finally going. And let's move him a eh, little bit down here. And also let's Let's do some effects. Let's go to transition. Let's go to linear wipe and we'll move this way. What actually we'll do here, if you notice, we're kind of cutting him down. So we cut to half and we increase the feathering so it looks more like a shadow there. And if we put our pirate now, there you notice here you go. Now we have shadows on the ground. And there he is dancing with the shadow. Also, this is about 13 sec seconds, so we'll go to our composition, composition settings, and we'll have it said to 13 seconds. So we'll have our full timeline here now. So here you go. Our dancing pirate with his shadow. And this, uh, you can do this with any rendering, not necessarily with the view, but with the view it can be animated. And now we need to put something up in front of him. And of course if he is moving, the terrain can be moving as well, but now we can go to the project and we have our first layer and let's put our in our layer one. And let's transfer the layer 1 to 3D and let's put it uh, above this alpha mask and transfer it as well and you remember how we did it before with Matt and Lumen and we go to this one now and we'll move it up front 
actually want to move it together. The one thing you may want to do is to pre-compose them. But see if you notice uh, it's actually going a little bit above him, above his feet. If you want, we can increase it a little bit higher so we can put it all the way up to here and move it. Or if you want to display his feet, you can put it like this right here down. Also, when it's created, when we've created two, all that we need to do is go there. Let's see where it is here. Okay, we need to go to layers and click precompose and let's name it front view. Click OK. So we'll take our front view and move it up front here and and again we need to transfer this to 3D. Okay, maybe it's a little bit higher. Then this is We'll make this a little bit smaller. So we have kind of like palms here. Also, the same we can apply a shadow to this. So when you create your front view, again, it doesn't have to be just a, a sta static animation. It can be an animation. So Control D, it's just like before, take the one under this and let's name this one Shadow Trees. Okay, and we'll take the same thing just like we did before effect, color correction, and we go to saturation, drop this down, go to effect, and blur, fast blur, and increase a little bit there. Let's also go maybe, and if we want, we can rotate. You don't necessarily need to rotate if you don't want to it. If you don't want um if you don't want to rotate it, you don't have to do that. This is maybe a little bit too big. Let's look at it from the top here. So here's the layer, and you can adjust it like this if you want, or you can drop the shadow on him. And let's actually try to drop it and see what happens. So I drop it right on his feet. But also we're going to effect and we're going to transition and go to linear wipe. Let's go to increase and increase the feathering and this is how we create shadows actually and if we take our pirate and we move him you'll notice that he will have the shadow from the trees follow him also let's go to layer and take a new camera we'll create this camera and let's Let's set this. We need 50 millimeters. And actually, we can do even better with the camera. We press P for the position. Go into the position and just slightly move it, rotating a little bit this way. Let's go to the last here. And we're just rotating it a little bit just this way. So we can kind of preview here. And that's what we have. And we have some rotation and even with the static images you can already see how this works. And we've actually put him on the ground. We created shadows. Um, you can have a little bit more interesting effect if you don't want to work with different rendering with just one background. 
It's camera projection. And again, if you go to videocopilot.net, they have really great tutorials about this and some other ones with After Effects. But this is also how you can create it. And the front, if you have the ground in front of him, be sure this ground is what you want ahead of him and not in the back. Well, let's render this animation and see what we have. Let's actually create one more thing. Let's go to a new layer. Let's create a solid. And let's create maybe something in a dark black color. Let's go to the ellipse tool. So we'll double time click that. And right here we'll just press MM to expand the masks all the way. And we'll go to subtract, so we'll go opposite. And let's let's feather this some more and maybe decrease the opacity a little bit. So we just have a nice vignette on the side to kind of make it look a little bit older. Give it a interesting look there. And right now let's go to Compose and add it to the render queue. And let's save it as a test. And let's render right now. Okay, here our render is done and let's look at what we have. How I say it can be an animated AVI and not just static but we did static here for a faster tutorial and here we have our pirate and we have our shadow behind him right on the floor and he's actually standing on the ground you can see the feet there and we'll see how this is all rotating again all that you do is to just use your duplicate animation and bleed it from color and position it and you'll get these kinds of results and also you see shadow from the trees and if you bring him closer to the shadow it will apply to the object because it depends on the distances so the shadow would be on him or if you want you can just take the trees shadows if you want you can you can just uh, pick them up and move them a little bit closer and like I said just apply it almost in front of the person here so if it passes by here the shadow will apply on that object there almost right up to there so really it's up to you to use your creativity with how you use your shadows so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek Up Play Studio. If you need more tutorials or resources, please visit us at www.geekatplay.com or www.vututorials.com.